I'm actually really ill right now, so I'm like full of cold and sore throat, etc, etc. But this is going to be my last chance to film with a full head of hair. I'm leaving in like 20 minutes, so I'm going to have to be really quick with this video to go and get a little operation on my head. So I'm going to have to shave some of my hair off. I don't know how much. I'm hoping it's going to be like not noticeable at all, but we'll see. So I'm going to do a small YouTuber tag really, really quickly. But I say that now, but I always drag on a bit. So let's go. First question is what inspired you to start making videos? So I'd say a couple of years ago I was going through quite a bad time with anxiety and I started watching YouTube videos like people like Zoella, Sprinkle of Glitter, Pixie Woo. And I really love watching them and thought there's something about watching those videos that was really relaxing for me. And then just naturally progressed because I really like making videos. I've, well, I studied acting at uni and when I was there we also learned how to edit films and make films as well. I mean I was never very good at the camera work but the editing and stuff I really liked. So it felt like a good mix of hobbies and things. I enjoy to start a YouTube channel. How long have you been on YouTube and have you had any other channels? This is my first proper channel. I think when I was like 14 or maybe younger I uh, uploaded a video of me singing maybe this time but then lost the details of how to log into that account. <laughs> I started my channel uh, last January I believe and have been uploading sporadically, trying to upload more regularly this year. That is my resolution. Where do you see yourself and your YouTube channel in the next five years? Growing, hopefully. I want to get better at filming and editing. I genuinely enjoy working on that, so I think through doing this I'll, I'll get better at it. It's just about having time for me, because like, I have to work full time, and then I've got like quite a busy social life as well. Like This year is crazy, Like I've got so many things already booked in. It's gonna be quite a busy year. I'd also kind of like to move on to travel vlogs. I really want to travel. We are planning, I don't know whether I should say it or not. I think I'm gonna say it actually to try and make sure that we do it. We're planning going to America for a little bit of time and doing a bit of the East Coast. So I think we'll fly to New York, have maybe a day or two there, then go see some family in Philadelphia, and then New York down to Florida, which I think would be sick. I would definitely vlog that. What message are you trying to get across with your videos? Honesty, I think just general life like I just want I love watching daily vlogs that kind of thing but I want to make it more realistic like I think I've already done that a little bit the other day like with my first vlog I'm telling you about like little arguments I'm having with my boyfriend and I think I'll get more and more honest as time goes on that kind of thing I know I definitely want to anyway I want to share with you what real life is you can have like your vlog goals everyone and then you can have me like reality Expe expectations reality you're a girl do people from school find your channel? Well, I'm not in school. I left school quite a while ago. And I don't share my videos on any of my social media. Yeah, none. Not my Facebook, nothing. I don't really want people from school to see it. I think that's what I'm most scared of. I think people down here, like all my friends that I made down in London, would probably be quite supportive of it. But the thought of anyone from my school finding out makes me cringe. I think when I develop into doing travel vlogs, that's the kind of thing I'll be happier sharing with everybody. Username. What does your username mean? Kerry. And it's quite self-explanatory. It basically, it's me and then whatever the topic is. A tag, a person, whatever. There is no limit to what we can do. And finally, your favourite small YouTubers. Okay, uh, changes like all the time. I think I'm gonna say Fab Han, who I was introduced to by Gabriella, I think. And I think also Alfie mentioned him at one point, uh, her at one point, <laughs> sorry, that pan. She's my favourite, she's like really sarcastic, got a great like dry sense of humour, she edits videos amazingly well, uh, films are great as well, yeah, just check her out. And then I like Ebony Day, is her name Ebony Day? I like her vlogs anyway, she's a singer and she does these like really cute, really short daily vlogs and she's, yeah, she's just really, really cute. I think that's about all. By the way, I need to go, what time is it? Yeah, I've got to leave in like 15 minutes and I still need to dry my hair <clears throat> and then yeah this is the last time you'll see me like this. I might come back with like, wait it's actually, it's here so maybe like this whole side shaved off. Ah. I'll go into some detail about what that's about another time if it's relevant, if it goes really well and it's just what it is meant to be which is a benign brain tumour, nothing to worry about, they just want to remove it, then I probably won't talk about it because it's not that interesting. But if anything happens, like if they see something else or something else, I'll go into some detail and talk about it because there might be somebody else going through the same thing. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll be back next week. Bye!